Having previously walked in protest against her party, Labour won't now issue its own marching orders. But yet again, Luciana Berger speaks to its divisions. We want to see action taken about anti-Semitism, and that's why we're all here today. On that and Brexit, she's often criticised the leadership, but it's the grassroots who moved against her. Last night, her local party in Liverpool announced two votes of no confidence, leading dozens of Labour MPs to hit back that she has theirs. She has our support as she battles the bullying hatred from members of her own local party. They bring disgrace to the party that I love. In her own statement, Luciana Berger said, I have been deeply disturbed by the lack of response from Jeremy Corbyn as party leader. Nothing will deter me from exposing anti-Semitism wherever it festers, including in the Labour Party, where it is being willfully ignored. But those close to the leader claim that isn't necessarily the issue. It looks as though the motivation of this is because Luciana has been associated with these rumours about the breakaway new party and hasn't responded clearly enough on rejecting that. So my advice to Luciana and her local party is Luciana should just simply reject this whole concept of a new party. But this afternoon, the motions of no confidence were withdrawn. And tonight, the party's deputy leader is calling on Labour headquarters to suspend Liverpool Wavetree branch, arguing its actions are threatening and bring the party into disrepute. Denial is not an option. Tonight, Luciana Berger is only at the centre of a much wider row going on around her. Paul Brand, News at 10, Westminster.